Hey, good morning everybody. I hope uh, you're all doing well. Um, Going to be doing another tobacco uh, review this morning. It's about a uh, quarter, quarter of uh, 12, almost noon. Uh, hot again here in Florida. It's not cooling down yet. I know I keep bitching about that, but uh, the heat is starting to wear on me, especially at work. Um, at any rate, I've been kind of on a review kick lately, if, if you haven't noticed. I've been doing quite a few reviews, and I try to kind of review tobaccos that maybe aren't as uh, common, commonly reviewed as uh, others. And I kind of do that because I've gone through some other people's reviews and seen a tobacco that maybe I hadn't heard of or, or just never really thought of trying it and uh, wound up ordering it and really liking it based upon somebody's description or review. Um, and might give you know you all a chance to try something you never thought of or something different that you think you might like from based upon the review and the description but the one I'm doing today is it, it's more of a common tobacco I would say um, it's an all Virginia blend um, I love this stuff it's in my top five tobaccos um, that I smoke um, and it's uh, McClellan's Blackwoods Flake. I love the tin aroma of this stuff. I love the taste of it. I love the the room note. I even love the the uh, tin art. I mean, it's a gorgeous artwork there on the tin. Little Blackwoods uh, Flake pipe tobacco, and it's part of their personal reserve um, line of tobaccos. And the tin description, it says, The natural sweetness of mellow red Virginias and the richness and inherently spicy aroma of stoved black Virginias combine in this beautiful mottled flake, doubly aged, smooth, and balanced. Um, this is just good stuff. If you are a Virginia um, fan enjoy smoking uh, Virginia pipe tobaccos and you haven't tried this you know not what you are missing I mean I love um, Samuel Godwith's uh, full Virginia flake is another one of my favorite uh, tobaccos and in my opinion this uh, uh, surpasses it. Um, it it's amazing stuff to me at any rate um, I'm going to be smoking this in a larger bowl pipe because I think for this particular tobacco, and it's on the, I would say, medium side, um, not mild, not a strong medium, but kind of maybe on the slightly lower end of medium in the smoke. So I, these type of tobaccos I enjoy smoking in a larger bowl pipe because I think uh, you get a little more flavor out of it, etc. But I'm going to be smoking it in my uh, little Savinelli there. You can see it next to my, uh, well, here, this is a goofy thing I made. Let's see if you can see it. A little Starship Enterprise. I actually made this thing out of, um, out of some rifle casings that I had left over from doing some uh, target practice. Anyway, there you have it. Starship Enterprise. Obviously, I'm a space geek and, uh, fan of science and astronomy. I have a telescope and all of that. But anyway, I'm going to be smoking into my little Savinelli Trevi pipe. Um, the tobacco, actually I didn't show you that, comes in a broken flake. Um, this is rubbed out here. And there's kind of the flake. This is actually a big one compared to, let me see here if you can see that. That's actually what it looks like in the tin. Kind of a broken flake. Um, I like the cut of it. It does come wet. Um, I had to let this dry in the air conditioning for probably maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes or so before, before I could put it in the pipe here. Um, Forgot to tell you about the tin notes. Sorry about that. An interesting thing about this 
pipe tobacco before I had ever smoked it. I, I looked it up on tobacco reviews. Came very highly rated. Um, people said it smelled like ketchup in the tin. Now I'm thinking that's an exaggeration. It's vinegar and ketchup. So when I pop this open, which I'll smell it again, it smells exactly like ketchup. Vinegar a little bit. Um, it's actually acidic kind of. It almost burns your nose like if you stick your nose in a uh, smell a, a bottle of vinegar, that feeling in your nose just does that. Um, it also smells um, of Virginia. It's a fermented tobacco. It says doubly aged. Um, maybe that's what they mean, but it's definitely, you can smell the, the fermentation. To me, it smells almost like rotten fruit. Um, not in a bad way. Um, kind of that sweet, not like when you first when I say it smells fruity, not when you cut a piece of fruit and smell it, that citrusy, not like that. It's like almost like maybe a fig would be a better description, a dried fruit. Um, smells like dried fruit, ketchup, and uh, vinegar, and, and like Virginia smell, which sounds awful, but I love it. I mean, it's grown on me. I love the smell of this stuff. I could keep my nose in the tin for five minutes. But at any rate, it's an odd smelling tobacco and it doesn't translate into the, the taste of it at all, that, that ketchup or vinegar. Um, oh, I love this stuff. It has that wonderful straw, dried hay um, taste, slightly sweet, you know, like Virginia. Sweet in the manner that it, it, it um, there's no topping on this, it's a straight uh, tobacco. got a fantastic flavor to it it's um it's a mellow smoke um i'd rate it in nicotine content probably i'll uh, write about medium maybe just a little under medium I just blew a little out of my nose has that wonderful a slight um, very slight citrusy uh, flavor to it very slight um, slightly lemony maybe But the uh, tin note or the aroma when you put your nose in that tin doesn't come out in the smoke at all. I could see this one if you really puffed away on it. Um, it might give you a slight tongue bite. I'm not getting any right now, but I've gotten it from this before. But I mean, I was really puffing away on it because I enjoy the taste of it. I was getting greedy. This tobacco to me is so good that I don't smoke it every day um, and that's because it, it to me I like it so much I don't want it to um, I don't want the thrill of smoking it to wear off if that makes any sense it's obviously I mean it's a quality tobacco it, it, it's not um, cheap leaf uh, very high quality. I like whatever the fermentation process that's going on here. It just gives it a really smooth combined taste of those. And I know the the mellow red Virginias and these stove black Virginias, it's amazing that the same leaf prepared in a different way or, or cured in a different way can taste so different. 
the black uh, Virginias are in the background, and it's a spicy uh, taste. Not like Perique, um, where it's kind of that black pepper, ground black pepper taste. Like that's what Perique kind of uh, feels like to me. This is more. Spicy, like a very mild um, pepperoncini pepper or Greek pepper, that kind of feeling. Very mild, though, not spicy in your face. But it adds a nice uh, balance to the sweetness. I'm actually enjoying it with a cup of uh, Earl Grey tea with cream. A little cream and sugar. Complements the tea nicely. But again, if, if you like uh, Virginia's, are a fan of smoking, you know, Virginia pipe tobaccos, you will love this stuff. Um, if you like full Virginia flake, um, you will love this stuff. It is fantastic. They really scored a home run, I think, with this one. I know I'm going on about it, but it's just... I guess it's kind of neat when you actually do find a tobacco that you just really, really, really like. I know a lot of times we pipe smokers are on some kind of eternal quest, you know, to find the, the ultimate pipe tobacco. And everybody's taste is different, you know, obviously, but if... Um, if you're a fan of Virginia's, this is just, um, you'll really enjoy this tobacco. Um, I did smoke a bowl of this um, this morning after I woke up um, before my wife left for work. And as I was lighting it up, she, she said, boy, that smells good. So I like the room note. Uh, she likes the room note. Um, it's not a strong room note, it's not overwhelming, it's just a nice pipe tobacco smell, Virginia smell. But um, actually what I was meaning to say, I, I got off track there, was that as I smoked this bowl this morning, it's not a complex tobacco, it's very straightforward, um, but it does change as you um, get farther down the bowl here. Obviously, this is a large pipe. It'll take me probably an hour to smoke this. It lasts a while. So I can't really give you the description of what happens while I'm smoking it or we'd be here all day. But this morning when I smoked this, as it got probably to the bottom third of the bowl, it got really creamy, buttery, um, that kind of thick mouthfeel and it actually kind of got the spiciness um, kind of increased maybe a little bit um, the sweetness kind of started maybe going down a notch spiciness started coming up but it got really creamy just wonderful this is one of those tobaccos that does kind of take you on a ride through a few different things it's not like all these flavors going on at once it's just they kind of change slowly as you smoke down the bowl which is kind of neat it's, so you don't get bored when you're smoking this as I said great with a cup of tea or Probably be good with a good coffee. I'm still getting that slightly citrusy, very much in the background, but it's there. The hay, the kind of spicy, fresh, peppery taste. At any rate, I to me, this is 10 out of 10. Absolutely 10 points out of 10 points. It's a great tobacco, great Virginia um, quality tobacco. 
So if you're looking for uh, something um, in the Virginia line of tobaccos, definitely, definitely give this one a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to finish smoking this, guys, and uh, I'll see you in my next review.